trigger. What's going on guys? PC here and welcome to another episode of First Look. Today we're taking a first look at Out Trigger for the Sega Dreamcast. I have my keyboard and mouse all set up for this, which is awesome. I love the fact that it supports the keyboard and mouse. In fact, that's one of the things I absolutely love about the Dreamcast is that every first person shooter on the console supports keyboard and mouse control, which is awesome for people that want really precise control, people that are used to PC gaming, which is great, especially considering the Dreamcast controller only has one analog stick, so it's not exactly the greatest for first person shooters. But uh, yeah, I have my uh, keyboard and mouse set up here and we're gonna try this out for the first time. I've been wanting to grab this game for a long time now, but it, it's one of the, it's a, it's not extremely pricey, but it's one of the more pricey Dreamcast games, and I just recently found it for a good price, so picked it up, really excited to try this out. So let's uh, just jump into arcade mode here. Yes, keyboard and mouse, please select a main device. Um, okay, just click enter on the keyboard, I guess. And looks like we're picking a character. Let's go with J. And uh, the name here. Huh, that's odd. You can't actually type in letters with the keyboard. That's an odd omission. But okay. Put some initials here. Uh, preparatory. Uh, do, do, do. Let's go with novice for now, I guess. Novice training course, exercise one. I didn't particularly want the training course. I've actually already played through the training course on the demo. I have the demo disc of this. And that's one of the reasons I really wanted this game, because the demo is extremely fun. Uh, ah, probably gonna have to remap the keys here. It's actually using the arrow keys to move around on the keyboard. I usually prefer to use WASD, or the W, A, S, and D keys which is typical for first-person shooters on a PC. But it controls really well with the mouse anyway. And works fine, I guess, with the arrow keys on the keyboard, but Waz would probably be a bit more comfortable. All right. So I guess I'm just supposed to kill a certain amount of enemies in the time limit here. Go. I seem to only have a rocket launcher on this particularly bleh, this particular level here, but I know there are a lot of other weapons in this game. Good job. There we go. Result. Nice. Okay. So let's move on. Let me see if I can get out of here and jump into one of the regular games. Okay, so I jumped into a different difficulty level, but it's still training, so I am assuming I have to complete all the training levels before I can move on to anything else, so I guess we're just going to play through these, which is okay. It's still pretty fun. Still get to blow people up, which is cool. I did figure out you can uh, switch between third and first person view by pressing a certain key on the keyboard. Let me see if I can figure that out here. Uh, let's see. Insert? No. Hold on, I'm dying while I try and figure out the key here. Uh, insert. Oh yeah. Press insert on the keyboard, and now I'm in first person view, which is cool. That is better for a keyboard and mouse. Well, it's cool that they actually give you the option of switching between third and first person view. Not too many shooters do that, actually. Usually, if it's a first person shooter, you're going to play in first person. <laughs> But it's cool if they give you the option on here, especially since you have multiple control schemes with the keyboard, mouse, or the controller. They also have quite a few control schemes as well. I was looking through the menu. And you can have uh, aim assist on or off and different things like that, which is cool. Ow, I think I lost. Ah, that sucks. Alright. Yeah, I guess I'll continue here. Alright, let's try this again. I wasn't paying much attention. I was trying to figure out the keys and everything. So, I think you can get more weapons here. I don't know if I'm pressing the wrong... Oh, okay, there we go. 
push down on the mouse wheel and you can switch weapons. This is my machine gun here. That's cool. Take that. Nine enemies left. I'm assuming they probably give me a shorter time limit on the intermediate than the beginner level. So I'll have to be quick here. You also pick up those clocks there that extend the time. I'm really liking this game so far though. I mean, I played the demo before and I really liked it. But I, j I just like the arcadey feel to it. There aren't too many really arcade feeling first person shooters out there. So this is kind of unique. It it's fast paced, a lot like Quake 3 Arena or Unreal Tournament. But it's got kind of a, I don't know, I don't know if I want to say cartoony feel to it, but it's very arcadey. It doesn't try to be real or anything like that. Not, not very realistic. Which I like. Let's see, are there any other weapons here? Oh, there we go. A grenade launcher. That's pretty cool. Haha! <laughs> nice, I think I got multiple enemies with that grenade, so that's cool. Alright, let's move on to the next level here. Man, this is fun. I'm not sure why this game it never got much attention on the Dreamcast. It was an online game as well, so you can play this online, offline. Three, two, I believe you can do split one. screen, um, multiplayer as well, which is cool. But uh, the game never really got much attention. I don't, I don't hear too much about this game from Dreamcast owners. I don't know why. It's a really fun game. Okay, what did I do there? I think I... <laughs> Do I have teammates? I might have teammates on this one. That might be why I lost some points there. Um, I'm not sure how to tell the difference. Uh, maybe that guy is a teammate? No, that guy definitely isn't. Ow. That hurt. What are the weapons I have here? I have the machine gun. I have regular grenades. Oh, that was a nice sh shot there. Yeah. I don't see any other weapons on this particular level here. I know there's a flamethrower, which is always awesome. Gotta love flamethrowers in any game. Oh, I don't know how to tell the difference between teammates and... I don't know, are they the red guys? Cause... Good job. No, because I, I just... That's weird. <laughs> You'd think that either the red or blue would be my team, but... I don't know, maybe I just have one teammate? I, I really don't know. I did read that on the back of the box that you could have teams when playing online, which is cool. Three, two, I don't know if one. there was regular death matches as well. I would have loved to play this game online. That would have been a lot of fun. Uh, unfortunately, no longer play it online. It would be awesome if someone figured out how to get this online again. But unfortunately... Stuck with offline for now, which is alright. It's still a really fun game. I know I'm coming, kind of cheating a bit with the first look on this particular game since I technically have played it before, but it was only the demo on the Dreamcast magazine disc. But I have never played the full game, although I think I played these exact levels on the demo disc. I think they give you all the training levels to play. Well, this is a really fun game. I would definitely recommend you take a look and try and find this game. It's not too expensive. I think it normally goes around for $15 or so is about the average price. Definitely worth it though. It's a lot of fun. If you like first person shooters like Quake 3 Arena, Unreal Tournament, things like that. This is a lot of fun, it's very fast paced. It's got tons of different cool weapons like flamethrower, rocket launcher, uh, grenade uh, launcher, different things like that. Very, very solid first person shooter, runs buttery smooth on the Dreamcast. And it is an exclusive to the Dreamcast, so can't play it on any other console. Which is a shame, actually. I'm, I'm surprised they never came out with any sequels to this. Maybe because it didn't do very well. Like I said, 
The game doesn't get that much recognition. I don't know why people don't remember this game as fondly as other Dreamcast games. Because it's definitely a fantastic game. I'm not actually a big fan of Quake 3 Arena. And I actually prefer this game over Quake 3 Arena. And I just killed myself. <laughs> uh, Quake is... I don't know. It's kind of blah when it comes to the weapons and the levels. All the levels kind of look the same and the weapons are fairly average, there's nothing too wacky or out there. It's, it's pretty traditional, and uh, I don't know, it, it kind of gets boring after a while. This game seems pretty fresh, has a bunch of different levels, tons of different cool weapons. Yeah, but I, I definitely like this above Quake 3 Arena. Unreal Tournament is my favorite first-person shooter of all time. I, I can't say it beats that, but it's a lot of fun. But anyway, yes, definitely pick up this game if you do not have it. It's a lot of fun. But uh, anyway, guys, this has been a first look at Out Trigger on the Dreamcast. A really cool first-person shooter, supports the keyboard and mouse, tons of weapons, cool levels. Definitely go check it out. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.